Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA videos, we are going to look at how can we work with fonts in Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, in the previous videos, we have already worked with the cells and the data. And uh, now in this video, we are going to see that how can we change the appearance of the data that is present in the cells. So this is our sheet from the previous video where uh, we just copied and pasted some values. So let us create a new macro which is going to be focusing on the fonts only. And in this video, we are going to learn that how can we change the appearance of the fonts? How can we change the color of the fonts? How can we change the type of the fonts? How can we change the size of the fonts? These four things are going to be our point of concern today. So first of all, we have to create a new macro for that purpose and to create a new macro through VBA. What you got to do is go to the insert tab and click on module. So this new module would be inserted. Go to this properties window over here and change its name from module one to something more specific. Uh, since we are playing with fonts, so I have named it as font. When you are in module one's code pane, you got to first provide it with a sub procedure and provide it with a name font which is going to be the name of our macro itself then open and close the parenthesis to make sure that yes it is a sub procedure and as soon as you press enter vb automatically identifies it as a sub procedure and adds end sub at the end so this is the whole procedure of creating a macro if you want to cross check it you can just go to the developer tab macros and you can see font macro is present over here now in this font macro we are going to provide um, the fonts so for the fonts to be provided we must have some sample data so we have b5 till b10 this hello and we want to change the font of this hello so uh, what we are going to do is first refer to it and first of all what we are going to do is change the type of this font okay so uh, that means we are going to change the name of this font so to change the name of the font First of all, we got a reference um, that particular range of cells that whose font we want to change. So using the range function, uh, we have already studied about this function. Provided with the starting value, colon, the ending value, and then put a dot. Then uh, you got to uh, search for a property called font. Now using this font property, you can uh, do many things such as changing everything about the font its appearance size color everything so select font by putting a tab key then again put a dot now when you put a dot all these properties that you get a c are actually associated with this font now with this you can uh, check that what all things you can change about this font what i'm going to change is the name of this font so just provide n and put a tab then put an equal sign since the name is going to be a string function so that must be included in double quotes okay so there are some general names which everyone knows and if you are specific that what uh, font name you want to choose you can simply type it or you can refer to the font name by going to this home tab and from here you can just uh, select this drop down arrow and all these font names would be available to you so you can just select any one of them but i'm going to select a simple arial font so type arial and just close the double quotes right now its font is calibri but when i execute it its font would be arial so just run this macro and you can see now its font has been changed to arial uh, right before it it was calibri but now it's been changed to arial Simply, you can change it to any other thing. Suppose instead of Arial, you want something else, say Times New Roman. It's also a popular font, Times New Roman. And here it is, Times New Roman is changed. So that's how you can change the name of the font. Now that was a simple thing. Now what happens if you want uh, to say change the uh, appearance of the font so we are going to just copy this thing up till font dot because that is going to be the general thing for each and every 
uh, line of the code that we are going to provide put a dot suppose we want to change its bold status so bold status has two values just put a tab it could be either true or false because we can toggle with a bold button so uh, if we set it to true the text would be uh, bolded and if we set it to false the text would be unbolded so let's set it to true because right now it's unbolded and just run it so you can see our text has been bolded similarly instead of bold you can work with other things as well for the appearance say suppose you want it to be underlined so you can provide underline put an equal sign write true this will make the text underline if you want to see the step by step execution just press f8 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 so you can see it's been underlined right now okay now uh, if you want uh, some other thing there are other options also available like italics if you want to change it to an italics then also you can provide with either true or false so i'm going to provide with true and if you just put f8 so you can see it's now changed to italics and you can see in the home tab all these things are changing as well okay now again there is another thing called as strike through if you want to do that you can provide strike through as well click on true you run it and see that this all is now strike through okay now what is uh, what i'm going to do is just change my data set that is instead of a b5 uh, to b10 i'm going to provide a5 to a10 there is something called as superscript and subscript for superscript if you want to change it to superscript you can do that as well say the range of the cells or a single cell dot font dot superscript equals true and if you just click on it it's all changed to a superscript instead of superscript suppose you want to just change the superscript status to a false you can just copy it paste it then set its status to false and you want it to be in the form of subscript instead of a superscript right now so subscript equals true now let's use f8 first it is superscript then superscript is false now it is normal when the superscript is set to false now it would be in the form of a subscript like this okay so that's how you can work with it as well superscript and subscript now what if you want to change the size of the font so you got to provide suppose this is a uh, g10 now i'm going to change its size uh, g10 size is what i'm going to change or suppose i'm going to change e7 size okay e7 dot font Uh, you can refer it using range the reason why i'm using range is we get help from uh, vb when we are using this range dot font dot now i want to change its size so this is size put a tab equals you can provide the customized size like right now it's 11 suppose i want it to be 20 you click on enter let's just get rid of all this code like this and this is 20 you can run it see its size is changed to 220 you can see over here similarly it could be changed to anything it doesn't matter if this size is present in this drop down or not 20 was present let's change it to 19 as 19 was not present over there or say something else uh, so that you can see the difference like 48 after 48 it's just 72 so let's change it to 56 you can see it's changed to 56 so no matter whether this size is present in the drop down or not but if you're providing it here the contents would be changed automatically okay now uh, the next thing is uh if you want to change the color of the text then how can you do that so to change it you got to first provide it with the text dot font dot color equals 
now what color you want to provide suppose i want to provide it red with red color okay so red in double quotes and let's see what happens okay it doesn't change that because we are not having red color over here what we are having is vb red okay you got to provide vb red and when you just click on run so it changes its color to red okay simply there are all these colors with a prefix known as vb simply if you provide vb green and run it see it's changed to green so using this you can provide a range of colors and that's how you can work with fonts in microsoft excel that's all for the video